de Windsor depuis 32 ans. C'est un plaisir de vous accueillir ce soir dans le cadre de notre visite virtuelle. Hello everyone, my name is Mark Pip and I am proud to be the principal at École Monseigneur Jean Noël. The school has served the South Windsor area of the city for the past 32 years. It's a pleasure to welcome you tonight as part of our virtual visit. Je vais commencer ce soir avec une prière. I'll start tonight with a, a prayer. Au nom du Père et du Fils et du Saint-Esprit, Amen. Seigneur, nous prions que chacune et chacun porte en lui l'amour que Dieu a pour tous. Chaque jour, nous sommes appelés à aider, encourager, soutenir et s'ouvrir aux autres pour que tous les chrétiens sachent vivre au service des plus petits et des plus, plus faibles. Seigneur, nous te prions. Pour notre communauté scolaire, pour tous les jeunes, les parents, les enseignants, les éducateurs, le personnel, afin que pendant la nouvelle année scolaire, tous puissent prendre leur place dans la classe, à l'école, dans notre communauté scolaire. Seigneur, nous te prions. Pour que chacune et chacun se, se sache reconnu, valorisé, soutenu et encouragé. Seigneur, nous te prions. Amen. Au nom du Père et du Fils et du Saint-Esprit. Amen. J'aimerais maintenant faire offrir une reconnaissance du territoire. I would also like to offer an acknowledgement of the First Peoples and their territories. L'école élémentaire Monseigneur Jean-Noël Jean est située sur les territoires traditionnels des peuples autochtones Anishina, Bewaki, Miami, Odawa, Peoria et Potawatami datant d'innombrables générations. Nous nous montrons notre respect pour les contributions de ces peuples autochtones et reconnaissons le rôle des traités dans ce qui est maintenant l'Ontario. Des centaines d'années suite à la signature des premiers traités, ils sont encore pertinents aujourd'hui. Notre école compte environ 400 élèves et nous sommes très proches de nos familles. On aurait tellement aimé vous rencontrer en personne, comme on le fait habituellement, mais cette année a été marquée par une situation particulière. Our school has approximately 400 students, and we are very close to our families. We really wish that we could have met with you in person, as we usually do, but this year has been marked by unique circumstances, as we all know. Quoi qu'il en soit, on est très heureux de vous proposer cette soirée virtuelle, et on fera de notre mieux pour vous présenter tout ce que l'école Monseigneur Jean Noël a à vous offrir. Be that as it may, we are very happy that we can hold this virtual meeting with you tonight, and we will do our best to present all of that Ecole Catholique Monseigneur Jean Noël offers, our school offers to you. Ce soir, vous aurez l'occasion de rencontrer une partie de notre équipe, de voir les différentes classes dans lesquelles votre enfant pourra se retrouver et de découvrir notre approche pédagogique. Votre enfant aura également la chance de participer à une activité ludique avec une de nos équipes pédagogiques au début de la présentation. Nous vous expliquerons ensuite plus en détail notre approche, notre programme scolaire et la place qu'occupe la foi catholique dans ce contexte. Tonight, you'll have the opportunity to meet our team, see your child's future classroom, and learn about our instructional approach. Your child will also have the, the chance to participate in a fun activity with our teaching team at the very beginning of the presentation. We will then explain our approach, our school curriculum, and how the Catholic faith fits into this context in greater detail. Avant de commencer, je tiens à vous présenter les membres de, de l'équipe en place ce soir. Madame Rachel Godet. Madame Brandy Yell, Madame Nicole 
Oh, J'ai oublié de mentionner, Madame uh, Rachel Godette et Madame Brandy Yen sont nos heures payeries. Madame Nicole Letart, Helben, la direction adjointe, est notre modératrice ce soir. Nous sommes aussi heureux d'avoir quelques parents parmi nous ce soir, Madame Joël Saad et Madame Jenna Kim, qui vous feront part de leur expérience. Before we begin tonight, I would like you, I would like to introduce you to the members of our team who are here tonight. Madame Rachel Godet and Madame Brandy Yell are ECEs. Madame Nicole Tart, the vice principal. We are also very happy to have a few parents with us this evening, Madame Joël Saad and Madame Jenna Kim, who will be sharing their experience with you uh, tonight as well. Au besoin, je vous invite à poser des questions dans la fonction de clavardage que Madame Nicole surveillera tout au long de la présentation. Et soyez sans crainte, une période de questions est prévue à la toute fin de la rencontre. Notez que cette rencontre sera enregistrée et mise à votre disposition au site web et sur la page Facebook de l'école afin que vous puissiez la consulter à nouveau quand bon vous semblera. If necessary, please ask your questions in the chat function. Madame Nicole will be monitoring this function throughout the presentation. Don't worry, there will be questions, uh, a question period at the very end of the meeting. Please note that this meeting will be recorded and made available online through, on the school's website and Facebook, so you can view it again whenever you wish. Je cède uh, maintenant la parole à Madame Rachel et Madame Brandy Yell. Bonjour, je m'appelle Madame Rachel et je suis une éducatrice à la petite enfance. Voici Madame Brandy et elle aussi est une éducatrice à la petite enfance ici à Monseigneur Jean-Noël. Nous travaillons dans ce domaine depuis longtemps. Nous aimons tous les deux enseigner et apprendre en jouant avec nos élèves. Nous travaillons avec l'enseignant dans la salle de classe pour fournir un environnement d'apprentissage sain, sécuritaire et engage, engageant pour nos élèves. Hello, my name is Madame Brandy and this is Madame Rachel. We are both registered early childhood educators here at Monseigneur Jean Noël. We've both been in the field for a long time. We love learning and teaching through play with our students. We work alongside the teacher in the classroom to provide a healthy, safe, and engaging learning environment for our students. Okay, maintenant, si les élèves aimeraient nous rejoindre, on va faire un petit activité ensemble. So if the kids would like to join in, we're gonna play a couple little activities together. So the premier activité qu'on va faire, the first one we're gonna do is we're gonna sing and dance and count to 10, just got this. Okay, et on a des actions. We got movements to move with them. Et je vois des amis qui vont connaître notre chanson. I know a couple friends that will know this song. So if you want to participate, just follow Madame Brandy and Madame Rachel, and we'll do good, okay? On est prêt? We're ready? Okay, if you're ready, stand up. Debout. Parents, if you want to join in too, that's okay. <laughs> Madame Brandy, voici mon écran. Oui, je vois ton écran, Madame. All right, on y va. Bonjour, mes enfants. C'est un moustique dans mon lac. Aujourd'hui, on va apprendre à compter jusqu'à 10. Est-ce que Julia 
Merci beaucoup, Madame Brandy et Madame Rachel, pour la belle présentation. Merci, un gros merci. Bienvenue. Maintenant, nous allons vous montrer um, une vidéo de. On va vous présenter une visite d'école. So we're going to present now a video of our. We're basically going to show you uh, our, our school, the outside and and uh, inside the school as well as the classrooms. Let's go what?
On ne le voit pas. On voit le diapo, on ne voit pas la vidéo. Right. Madame Carole s'en vient. On voyait seulement le diapo. OK. Oops. Des fois, si tu présentes de nouveau, ça fonctionne. Ça ne te laisse pas montrer. Annuel, bouge la vidéo de l'autre côté. Je suis ici. Yeah. So, Annuel, qu'est-ce qu'il y a sur ton écran devant ton Meet? Non, il ne veut pas. Il va falloir que je prenne de, de yeah. mon drive. I guess. Ça, te, ça devrait juste. Désolé. C'était juste le lien du diapo. Je l'ai changé. Voilà.
Désolé pour les problèmes techniques. Uh, we'd like to apologize for the technical issues. Uh, it always goes well when you do a practice run, but when um, when it comes in real time, it's always a challenge. So we're going to, je vais continuer avec uh, une présentation. Um, si vous pouvez vous patienter, madame va l'afficher. We're just going to do a, a little um, PowerPoint presentation. Merci, madame. Notre, notre mission principale est de donner à votre enfant un meilleur départ à l'école et dans la vie. Et notre programme éducatif tient compte du désir naturel de l'enfant de jouer. On sait que les enfants d'un certain âge apprennent par le jeu. En effet, le jeu active toutes sortes de voies neurales impliquées dans l'exploration, la réflexion, la résolution de problèmes et le langage. Les interactions impliquées par le jeu sont également bénéfiques sur le plan social, émotionnel et académique. Comme vous avez pu le constater lors de notre petite visite, nos salles de classe sont conçues pour favoriser ce genre de synergie. Chaque enfant est différent. Notre, obje notre, pardon, notre objectif est de mieux les connaître et de nous adapter à leur style d'apprentissage unique. Our primary mission is to give your children a better start at, in school and in life. And our educational program takes into account the fact that children have a natural desire to play. We know that children of a certain age learn through play. Indeed, the act of playing activates all kinds of neural pathways if the, involved in exploration, reflection, problem solving, and language. Children also benefit socially, emotionally, and academically from the interactions involved in play. As you saw during a brief visit, our classrooms are designed to foster this kind of synergy. Every child is different and our goal is to get to know them better and adapt to their unique learning styles. Comme notre approche est axée sur la construction de l'identité culturelle et du sentiment d'appartenance de l'enfant, la foi catholique, tout comme la langue et la culture francophone, font partie intégrante de notre pédagogie et notre réalité quotidienne. On aborde et on pratique les valeurs catholiques fondamentales, comme le respect, l'inclusion, l'amour de son prochain et le partage. On développe aussi la capacité de recueillement et réflexion. De manière plus concrète, on aide les élèves à se préparer au sacrement, au fait et au jalon religieux. Our approach focuses on building the child's cultural identity and sense of belonging. Therefore, the Catholic faith and the French language and culture are integral part of our edu edu the, pardon me, of our educational approach and daily reality. Fundamental Catholic values such as respect, inclusion, love for one's neighbor, and sharing are addressed in practice. The capacity for contemplation and reflection is also developed. At a more practical level, we help students prepare for the sacraments, feasts, and other religious milestones. Monseigneur Jean-Noël fait partie du Conseil catholique. Providence. En Ontario, sept parents sur dix choisissent l'éducation catholique de langue française, française parmi tous les parents francophones. On entendra parler de certains de ces parents dans quelques instants, mais je voudrais d'abord vous présenter quelques raisons pour lesquelles les familles nous confient l'éducation de leurs enfants. Monseigneur Jean-Noël is part of the Providence Catholic School Board. In Ontario, seven out of ten parents opt, opt for French language Catholic education amongst Francophone parents. 
and we will be hearing from some of these parents in a few moments. First, however, I would like to point out a few of the reasons why families entrust the education of their children to us. Les écoles catholiques francophones affichent des résultats supérieurs aux tests provinciaux ainsi que le plus haut taux de diplomation en Ontario. En fait, le Conseil scolaire catholique Providence se classe en première classe dans le sud-ouest Ontario avec un taux de 93%, ce qui est bien supérieur à la moyenne provinciale de 80%. Plusieurs familles disent que c'est une, une des raisons principales pour laquelle elles ont choisi l'école catholique française. Francophone Catholic schools report superior academic results on provincial tests and the highest graduation rate in Ontario. In fact, Conseil scolaire catholique Providence ranks first in southwestern Ontario with a graduation rate of 93%, well above the 80% provincial average. A number of families say this is the main, one of the main reasons why they choose a French Catholic school. Monseigneur Jean-Noël est un milieu 100% francophone. Qu'est-ce que ça veut dire? Dans une école catholique francophone, les enfants font bien plus que parler français. Le français est aussi une culture, une communauté, un mode de vie. Toutes les matières sont enseignées en français, à l'exception d'un cours d'anglais qui commence dès la quatrième année et qui est donné avec la même rigueur que dans les écoles catholiques. C'est une grande différence comparativement au programme d'immersion où les enfants apprennent le français comme langue seconde. De plus, toutes les activités parascolaires se déroulent en français. Dans une région où l'anglais est omniprésent, ces distinctions sont essentielles pour aider les enfants non seulement à comprendre, mais aussi à communiquer facilement en français, bien au-delà de leurs études. Monseigneur Jean-Noël, school has a totally francophone environment. What does that mean? Well, in a French-speaking Catholic school, children do more than just speak French. The language is also a culture, a community, and a way of life. All subjects are taught in French, with the exception of English, which starts in grade four, and is taught with the same rigor as the English language schools. This contrasts sharply with the immersion programs where children learn French as a second language. In addition, all extracurricular activities take place in French. In a region where English is ubiquitous, I have a hard time with this word, ubiquitous, these, dis, these distinctions are vital to helping children not only understand, but also communicate easily in French well beyond the classroom. Soutenir les enfants francophones dans la maîtrise de leurs compétences linguistiques et de leur connaissance culturelle fait partie de notre mission. Mais on veut aussi qu'ils se sentent à l'aise dans les deux langues officielles. C'est pourquoi nos cours de français et d'anglais offrent un apprentissage de niveau natif et sont présentés par des experts. On vise un bilinguisme complet et durable qui leur permettra d'étudier et de travailler dans l'environnement de leur choix en Ontario, au Canada, et dans le monde. Que l'enfant soit doué ou qu'il ait des besoins spéciaux, apprendre plus d'une langue est un avantage non négligeable. Sans oublier que l'apprentissage d'une deuxième langue favorise le développement cognitif de l'enfant. Supporting francophone children in mastering their language skills and cultural uh, knowledge is part of our mission, but we also want to feel we want them to feel comfortable in both official languages. That's why our French and English courses provide native level learning and are taught by experts. The goal is to achieve a comprehensive and sustainable bilingualism that will allow them to study and work in the environment of their choice in Ontario, in Canada, and around the world. Whether a child is gifted or has special needs, learning more than one language is a significant advantage. Not to mention that learning a second language promotes a cognitive development in each child. Lorsque vous inscrivez votre enfant à Monseigneur Jean-Noël, vous faites partie d'une communauté forte et solidaire. 
votre enfant aura la chance de s'épanouir dans un climat scolaire respectueux, inclusif et sécuritaire où il fait bon vivre. When you register your child at Monseigneur Jean Noël School, you are part of a strong and supportive community. Your child will have the chance to thrive in a respectful, respectful, inclusive, and safe school environment where they will feel right at home. Et comme nous l'avons déjà dit, la foi catholique occupe une place importante dans notre quotidien ici à, à l'école Monseigneur Jean Noël. Monseigneur Jean Noël vise le développement intégral de la personne de tous ses aspects intellectuels, physiques, émotionnels et spirituels. Cette approche globale qui amène l'élève à devenir un véritable citoyen du monde et qui offre aux élèves tous les atouts pour réussir. Un milieu de vie à la fois sécuritaire, respectueux et attentionné. As we have already said, the Catholic faith occupies an important place in our daily lives at Monseigneur Jean Noël. Our goal at Monseigneur Jean Noël is the overall development of the person, including all of the person's intellectual, physical, emotional, and spiritual aspects. Ours is a comprehensive approach that helps students become true citizens in the, of the world and endows them with all the assets they need for success, a safe, respectful, and caring living environment. I would now like to uh, present to you um, one of our parents. Um, J'aimerais vous présenter Madame Joëlle Sade, qui vous fera une présentation maintenant. Merci, Monsieur. Bonjour, je m'appelle Joëlle Sade. Uh, J'ai deux enfants, une fille qui vient juste de graduer de Monsieur Jean Noël, Alessa, et mon garçon qui est en septième année, Dimitri. Ça fait uh, plus que 14 années que j'étais euh, euh, dans l'école et je vais vous dire que c'est une école exceptionnelle. Um, nous sommes vraiment une grande famille et honnêtement, étant été à cette école pour ce, toutes ces années, ça commence avec la direction, l'administration, les enseignants et enseignantes qui traitent tous les enfants comme leurs propres, les euh, éducateurs et éducatrices qu'on voit chaque matin et qui disent bonjour à tout le monde, ils sont très agréables. Euh, et aussi les familles et les parents à l'école. Vraiment, lorsque je dis c'est une grande famille, euh, c'est que tous les parents euh, deviennent des amis et les, et, et les, les, en, les enfants à l'école euh, font des, des amis pour, pour la vie. Euh, à l'école, j'ai expérimenté beaucoup de belles expériences. Je, je participe au euh, conseil des parents, euh, ça fait plusieurs années, et c'est une opportunité très bonne pour que les parents peuvent avoir euh, euh, des avis et être inclus dans les décisions pour l'école qui affecte leurs enfants. Par exemple, on fait beaucoup de prélèvements de dons, Um, on a beaucoup d'activités qu'on planifie pour les enfants. Uh, par exemple, on a une fête d'Halloween chaque année d'habitude. Ça, c'est sûrement avant COVID, mais um, on a des uh, petits déjeuners de Noël, on a des déjeuners de Pâques. On a beaucoup d'activités qu'on fait pour les enfants et vraiment, comme parents, on peut être aussi um, inclus uh, qu'on veut. Et uh, l'esprit à l'école est excellent. Um, tout le monde a l'opportunité de participer et personne euh, n'est négligé dans l'école. Alors, euh, euh, je voulais juste, comme, comme parent, euh, vous dire que j'ai trouvé que euh, ma fille, aussi beaucoup de ses amis, étaient très, très bien préparés pour le secondaire, étant venu de Monseigneur Jean-Noël, parce que vraiment, euh, l'enseignement est exceptionnel. Euh, le français, à euh, qu'ils apprennent, euh, leur le, le aide beaucoup dans euh, le secondaire et la vie. Et, euh, et vraiment, c'est une école euh, vraiment proche. Alors, lorsque je dis c'est une grande famille, euh, j'espère que ça répond à des questions pour vous. Et si vous voulez demander des questions après, je suis ici. Merci beaucoup, Madame Joël. I would like... 
I'd like my, uh, now um, I'd like to invite um, Madame Jenna Kim to um, share her experiences at our school as well. Good evening, everyone. My name is Jenna, and my child has been going to Montchamp Jean Noel for a year and a half, and is currently in senior kindergarten. I also have a child just like you who will be starting in junior kindergarten come this September. We do not speak French at home. And you might be wondering how you could support your child with their education if you do not speak French. I was a little bit nervous myself. I promise you, from our daughter being in school, homeschooled, back to in-class learning, and then online, you can do it. Pandemic aside, you can help prepare your child by using the French language in your everyday. We do by listening to French songs, using basic French words, and such as bonjour, bravo, or merci, counting objects in French, and saying different colors in French. The staff and the teachers have been extremely wonderful and supportive to not only my child, but to us as parents. Last year, before the pandemic, I was able to take the French classes offered to English-speaking parents. Teachers will send you online resources for you to listen to at home if you feel you need to do them. Teachers are always willing to help in any way they can. The Monse Jean Noel community is like a family. I have never felt so welcomed by all staff. Everyone is constantly saying hello, asking if you need something, or willing to offer you any kind of help or support. We do many activities currently online um, or when we could in person with the kids. If you have a problem, there are so many people you can reach out to that will help. The Monse Jean, no Jean Noel community is a place where you feel cared about and encouraged to be part of your child's educational life. I am so happy with my choice to send my children to this school. The smile on my daughter's face every day speaks volumes. Thank you. Merci beaucoup, Madame Kim. Bien, un grand merci d'avoir participé à la séance virtuelle de ce soir. Ce n'est pas facile de parler à nos futures familles en cette période de pandémie, mais c'est réellement important pour nous. On espère que cette réunion vous a permis de mieux nous connaître et de prendre une décision éclairée pour l'avenir de votre enfant. Thank you very much for participating in tonight's virtual session. Talking to our future families during this pandemic is not easy, but we feel it is really important to do so. We hope this meeting has allowed you to get to know us better and has enabled us or enabled you to make an informed decision regarding your child's future. En raison des mesures relatives à la pandémie de COVID-19 actuellement en vigueur, nous avons fait en sorte que vous puissiez vous inscrire uh, rapidement et en toute sécurité en ligne. Accédez à notre plateforme pour remplir le formulaire d'inscription. Les détails de l'inscription se trouvent sur le site de, uh, internet de l'école. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic uh, measures currently in place, we have taken steps to ensure that you can register quickly and safely online. Go to the, our platform to fill out the registration form. Registration details can be found at the board's website. Je donne uh, maintenant la parole à ceux et celles qui souhaitent poser des questions. Um, oh, je voulais aussi mentionner, I apologize, I forgot to mention something. Um, il y a aussi um, la garderie franco sol qui est rattachée à notre école. Um, ils offrent un programme um, avant et après l'école également. Et um, il, um, il y a des informations comme vous pouvez voir. Um, si jamais vous êtes intéressé à inscrire votre enfant à la garderie, Vous pouvez communiquer avec nous à l'école et on pourra diriger votre appel à, à la garderie. So we have a daycare um, in the school building, if you want to say. It's, it's called Franco Sol. It's attached to the school. Um, there's some details, as you could see on in the presentation. Um, if you're interested in registering your child, um, there are uh, before and after school programs available and also um, um, during school if you have younger ones who aren't um, don't have haven't reached the age to start school yet 
Um, if you're interested in registering your child at, uh, at the daycare, um, um, please uh, give us a call or you could call Franco Sun as well, but we could direct the call to uh, the, the daycare if it's easier for you. Um, Lena is the, Kobesi uh, is the supervisor of the program. Um, unfortunately, right now they are closed, but they still take phone calls. Um, like I said, uh, you're welcome to contact them as well. Um, OK, je vais retourner à ce que je disais. Um, je donne la parole à ceux et celles qui souhaitent poser des questions. Vous pouvez adresser, les adresser à n'importe lequel d'entre nous, y compris les parents qui vous ont fait part de leurs expériences. Il est possible de poser des questions dans la fonction de clavardage ou, de, ou lever la main pour les poser à voix haute. Pour lever la main, cliquez sur la petite main au bas de l'écran. Cliquez sur « Baisser » à la, la main pour baisser la main. Assurez-vous d'activer votre micro. If you have any questions, now is the opportunity to ask them. Um, you can address your questions to us, to any of us, including the parents who have shared their experiences with you. Um, you can ask the questions in the chat function or raise your hand um, to ask them out loud. Um, you can um, raise your hand by clicking on the small hand at the bottom of the screen, and you can click lower to lower the hand. Uh, and make sure you turn your microphone on, please. So, are there any questions? Question. Um, je pourrais peut-être ajouter quelque chose. I can perhaps add something. Oh, est-ce qu'il y avait une main sur hand? Oui, madame. Hello. Uh, hi. Hi, une question. One question. Sure. Yeah. Uh, how many students in the um, in the uh, JK class? Um, for at the present time for this year. Mm -hmm. Uh, we have about, um, uh, I would say about, if I'm not mistaken. Classes of 25. Yeah, but um, we, I, I can't tell you how many JK students, I don't know offhand, but we have three classrooms of JK SK classrooms. So uh, there are about 25 in each classroom, like Madame Nicole said. Okay. So let's say if it's back to normal, it's also going to be 25 students per classroom? In general, that's about uh, the the uh, the maximum amount of students we usually have. Um, we also have an ECE with the teacher as well, like Madame Rachel and Madame Brandy are. Mm -hmm. have, that's the role right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Maxi. You're welcome. De rien. You know, I'm hoping, uh, j'espère qu'on va être de retour um, à la normale. On pourra vous faire une visite, une tournée de l'école. I'm hoping uh, when things get back to normal, we'll be able to offer you uh, an opportunity to visit the school. Um, hopefully it'll be this spring. It's hard to tell how we're going right now, but um, that's the plan. Um, we would like, uh, you know, it's, it's nice seeing the pictures and all that, but it doesn't give you a a full feel of, uh, of what we have to offer. Madame Rachel, maybe you can answer this question. We have a question from a parent that is asking, what is the day like with online learning? How many hours online and how do you keep the children's attention? Okay, so um, approximately we follow the guidelines of what the school board has given us, which is I think is it 180? 180, right? So 180 minutes. So we do it in uh, different uh, time blocks, just like how everybody is doing it right now. So what we kind of do is our morning routine. So we notice that, especially at this young of age, their um, concentration is more, um, more willing to wanting to learn is more in the beginning of the in the morning routine so we normally put a lot of the emphasis on what we 
want to teach with them and stuff like that in the mornings, but we do it in little blocks. So they're about 30 minutes by the time we're done with our singing, dancing, and we always have them moving. Um, we always have them in engaged and then they can go off, go play for a little bit, and then we come back and we just continue the same thing. Every different block time is something different. So like our morning is morning songs, things like that, literacy, um, math is also another section. So they're kind of divided in little blocks because normally what happens in a classroom is that we're allowed to have a uh, sonstra time, which is open-ended center times when the kids get to roam around the classrooms and explore how they would like. But because we can't do that being um, virtual, that's when that asynchronized learning is that's when they get to go and explore and get off of online. Then when they come back, we sit, we learn, and then we do it again and we get to, they get to just on and off. It's, it's, it's actually a lot, not as hard as what it feels like. Merci, Madame Rachel. We have a question about, um, I, I, I see your hand, uh, Madame Horvath, just a moment, please. Um, what about non-Catholic families? Um, je ne comprends pas la question, veut dire pour le comité d'admission et tout ça? Je pense que c'est est ça. Qu est -ce, comment est-ce qu'on admet les... Um, for non-Catholic families, we, we have what you call a, an admission committee. It consists of um, myself, the principal or the vice principal, Madame Nicole, and the superintendent. Um, and basically, we would meet with the parents um, and go, go over some of the uh, admission requirements. Um, um, so um, basically, the, there's, a, there's, there's a few items to go over, but providing the parents are comfortable with uh, the, um, the criteria or the requirements uh, regarding the Catholic faith is concerned. Um, it's usually pretty straightforward, especially with the children in grades uh, or starting in JK and uh, at the age of four and five. So um, it's just an extra step, um, an extra meeting with the parents, just to make sure we're on the same page. Um, and um, that's basically how it goes. So we would set up an, uh, an appointment with the families and meet with uh, the superintendent that's usually done in, in 15 minutes. Uh, Madame Horvath? Hi, bonjour. Um, so now I have two questions. Um, regarding the Catholic, our first son, Alexander, is already in maternel, and Leonardo will start this year. Um, he was never baptized due to, like, situations. So are we going to have that meeting online, too? Like, if, if COVID situation still goes ahead? Um, did you, you did say you have already one at the school. Yeah. So that usually when one of the child, when you have a, a child that's already registered at the school, it carries over for the rest of the siblings. Oh, okay. Okay, All so right. you won't have to go through this process. Okay, you sounds have to Do the registration, uh, the forms uh, as we would with any other family. Okay, okay. Um, and then the second question is just for most people, the teachers, like in your experience, how long does it take for a kid to be fluent in French? Like if they reach to first grade, um, if they haven't really achieved the level, enough, enough level of French, um, do you think they will be left behind or is it like, do they have to take extra lessons? Or is it like in a year they're fluent in French? Generally, we have uh, the students do end up catching up. We we find that um, JKSK they make huge headway with the pandemic. Um, obviously, things are a little bit different. We're, we are playing catch up with all our students, but there are programs that we can offer students that that need the extra boost. I see. Okay. Especially so in grade one. When time comes, you will let us know, like, hey, your kid is a little bit behind. Okay, sounds we good. As, we assess uh, students at uh, towards the end of uh, senior kindergarten, just to see where they're at, where their needs are. And um, if necessary, we would offer um, 
um, another program in grade one and a reading program, a literacy program, and that would help them catch up as well. Okay. Merci beaucoup. Okay. And we have a question. Will the children have a chance to meet their teachers virtually or otherwise before school starts? So in, in normal times, and, and even we managed this year, but it was virtually, um, the mm -hmm. students, we have a graduated entry for our, our uh, junior kindergarten. So the, the first um, contact they have at the school is a meeting with the parent and the teacher to meet one-on-one. -on -one. And then from there, they meet in a smaller group and um, then they start full-time. Madame Rachel, Madame Brandy, do you want to add to that? Um, I think you pretty much covered everything, Madame Nicole. Uh, like you said, we have a meeting with ourselves, the teacher, your child, for us to get to know them. We have a little booklet of questions um, that we ask, very simple questions. How old are you? Who's in your family? Um, what do you like to do? What's your favorite color? Just simple questions. So like I said, we can get to know them and their likes. Um, it also helps us to um, set up our centers in the classroom. Um, I know this year I have a few students who are really into dinosaurs. So we try to incorporate that into our center time and it seems to captivate their interest. I'd also like to add, uh, Madam, merci, Madam Brandy. Uh, I'd also like to add that um, the first couple of weeks, uh, I would say the first week, it's, it's uh, the students, not all of the students go to school at the same time. Um, it's a gradual um, integration. So it gives the opportunity for the, the school team to uh, get to know your, your child a little bit better. So I'll give you an example. We'll, we'll, we'll send about four JK students um, one particular day, they'll spend uh, they'll spend a day with with the with the team. That way, they get to know uh, your child better. So, basically, the Friday of the first week of school, that's when all of the kids start attending uh, all together. The next question is: uh, What is the registration deadline for upcoming school year? <laughs> uh, we don't have a deadline per se, but um, the sooner the better. It gives us a, a better um, projection of what our numbers are and it helps us um, confirm um, our staff for the upcoming school year. So like I said, the, the sooner the better. Um, we'd like to have that in place by mid-March if possible, but um, you know, I know I recognize parents need to uh, to uh, give it a lot of thought for the future of their children. So, um, you know, it's it's never too late. Uh, next question, how critical is the JK year considering the pandemic? My son may not do well with, with online learning and I'm curious if skipping JK will impact his learning long, long term. Oh, I don't know how to answer that one. That's a good question. Um, it's it, I think it's a subjective answer, really. It depends how, how your child is progressing. I mean, I, I think the more your child is immersed in the language, the more success he he or she will have in, in um, understanding and communicating better. So, yes, it is a challenge. I'm not going to deny it. It's a challenge for the team to to get uh, the children to to reach the level that they need to do. And um, like Madame Nicole said earlier, um, they're not quite at where we would like them to be, but they're coming along. Um, I find the more we're getting used to this online experience, the better it gets for everyone involved. And we can also, I mean, if, if you're worried about um, having to go online in the fall, um, we can't project where we're going to be in the fall at this point, whether we're going to be have offering online classes or not. Um, if you, you're concerned, you can register your child. And when September comes, um, you can ultimately make the decision to keep him in class or um, wait till next year. Um, there's no, no legal parameters on a child starting JK. 
Um, Monsieur asks, I registered my son. When do I expect to know my child is accepted by the school? Um, it all depends if we need to do an extra meeting for the admission committee. Um, if you're, for example, if you're, if your child is baptized Catholic and um, one of the parents is has francophone rights determined through the Charter of Rights, um, then it will be a quick process. Um, if if we need to do admission committee, then um, I can't give you a straight answer right now because we have to set up an appointment with the superintendent. But we try to get everything done um, in the springtime, probably before April. But also, um, we'll be in touch, either Monsieur, myself, or one of the secretaries, in the next, I would assume, week or so to set up appointments to meet with you and go through some of the paperwork and hopefully meet your child. It, obviously online. <laughs> and I think that was the last of the questions in the chat. Dorian, you're welcome. Well, if there aren't any other questions, I would like to thank you for um, attending our, our virtual meeting. I know it's a first for us as well. I hope uh, it was beneficial for you and um, I would like to thank you for your participation, obviously. Uh, merci beaucoup pour uh, um, d'avoir participé à notre soirée. Uh, J'espère que ça vous a été utile. I would like to thank uh, the parents for uh, Madame Joël, Madame Kim again for helping us out. Uh, Madame Rachel, Madame Brandy également. Merci beaucoup. Um, and uh, like uh, Madame Nicole said earlier, if you have any questions, uh, please don't hesitate to call us. Um, um, you need help with the registration forms or um, a any other help that you need, uh, please don't hesitate to call us. Um, we're there to help. Merci beaucoup. Thank you so much. Merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup. Au revoir. Au revoir. Au revoir.